Well, hey everyone. Hey, I wanted to get out here and finally get this Watchman news out there. It's very important. Just waiting for everything to fall into place along with getting through this emotional day that I'm having. <laughs> All right, so uh, now is the time to be looking up and getting ready. And of course, we are wise as serpents and gentle as doves as there's no coincidences, right, in Jesus at all. So I had, after I put up that video, and I thank you all so much for your kind and loving words. I know that Maddie felt them, and I as well. That so helped so much. I so appreciate it. I mean, what's not to love? She's an angel. Huh, and a little princess, exactly. Hmm, anything could happen at any second right now. All right, so Sister Catherine sent me a link, like right after that had spoken something about a rainbow bridge. <laughs> Coincidence? Um, in upstate New York, right at the Canadian border, where there was a terrorist attack. I did a little bit of research, and of course, it, on Twitter, well... Let's just say if you've been watching any of the Hamas videos and you're going to see that, you know, there's, why is there all these body parts everywhere? Crazy. So I'll leave a video for you in the description box that kind of puts things a, a little bit more in perspective about what happened. But they do believe that the sleeper cells are here. And now that that so-called ceasefire has been called in Israel, which starts at midnight. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I just got goosies. They ain't saying that. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know. Peace and safety has already been called, right? So all we've been doing is watching and waiting. Uh, Netanyahu is not for this at all. They, he's being pressured by the U.S. to stop but there's also, because of an exchange of the Israeli people, in order to exchange back for the Hamas. Well, that doesn't sound good to me. How about you? All right, so don't expect it to last, all right? It's a fake security, so it's not the peace and security that we're looking for, because that's already happened, right? We're just watching and waiting now. If you watch new news and a few other channels, they'll say the same thing. But seeing that this is on the border of Canada, they're talking about possible attack in New York City tomorrow at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and that there's possibly another uh, sleeper cell in Minnesota or Michigan or somewhere up there that also um, could be because it's actually... Believe it or not, easier to cross the Canadian border into the U.S. than the southern border here. Huh. Unreal, huh? Okay, so putting this all together, um, I'm going to jump for a second here to also share a couple of things. Is One, a couple of weeks ago I had been driving down Main Street in Louisville, and there was, uh, my eyes were kept, being drawn to a 7-Eleven. Well, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. That's my, one of my favorite expressions, right? In the days of Noah. <laughs> well, Sister Carly had put up something in the community, but I hadn't focused or, or, or connected it because what had happened here at this 7-Eleven in Louisville, a few days later, actually just a couple days ago, I had seen that somebody was saying, Asking what happened at the 7-Eleven on Main Street. Well, apparently there was like a lot of 100 kids on bikes uh, riding the store. Police cars everywhere. And so it was one big chaotic confusion, that's for sure. And then when Sister Carly put up that link that said that there was something going on apparently in San Diego, Los Angeles area, that was also having the same thing as well. Um, but this was a little bigger, of course, right? So they're here and they're everywhere, but there's no fear in Jesus, all right? So not at all. Okay, Titus 2.13, our blessed hope, our only hope, 
wolf not just out of the way before anything happened and we're covered in the blood of Jesus. Well, I thought that that was like, wow, amazing. And then I had had a dream where there was just rioting everywhere. Now, this was prior to the 7-Eleven situation. So it's like, okay, Lord, you're, you're telling me something here. And the fact that here I am putting out this video, being in an absolute emotional state, and this Rainbow Bridge thing is happening at the same time. All right, could it be a sign? I don't know. Everything's a sign <laughs> nowadays. And also, everything's breaking because it's happening so fast as in suddenly. All right, so here we go. Um, I'll leave the video for you again, like I said. But just remember, there's no fear in Jesus. But I do want to warn anybody up there in New York, you know, my brothers and sisters, I know you who are there. Uh, please check in. Keep in touch. Keep your head. Oh, I don't want to say on a swivel anymore because that's like a poker guy situation. <laughs> Just be cautious. And this is a time when everything is hustle and bustle and the stores are crazy and people are... I mean, my goodness, I was in Kroger uh, last Saturday and I failed to tell you that right before... Like when I walked up to the register, there was already things rung up on the register. And I looked at the clerk and I said, wait, I said, there's something that needs to be cleared off over here. Well, apparently it needed an age verification. So I think you know what I mean. And that person took off out of the store right in front of everybody's eyes and nobody noticed. It's like people are just not watching. They're not looking, right? Um... <laughs> there's cameras so everywhere so let's pray that they're able to find these people but things are rough I was out there last night just trying to get a few things done and people were I don't know what it was but that joy that was in the air and my magic carpet ride that I had last Saturday just didn't seem to be so joyous <laughs> I was like whoa Lord Jesus just get me home um, I don't want to be out here. It was like cray. So, saying that, I would just say, people, we need to get ready. Looking up. If you're not in your word, we already talked about that in Saturday Night's Live. Faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. If you're not reading the word, you don't know the word. And you don't know Jesus. You don't want to be caught saying, I never knew you. Right? You don't want to hear those words, okay? <laughs> You're either for him or against him, and you need to have that relationship with him. We're on the a most amazing date ever. <laughs> I don't say a date as in I'm dating anything, but I look at this as a date with my Jesus, our Lord and Savior, because we're about to get married, y'all, Okay? Um, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, First Thessalonians four fourteen through eighteen, the gospel, and First Corinthians fifteen fifty through fifty three. Right, we know that we are saved by grace through faith, the free gift, not of our souls or our works, least any man boast. There is no way you can save yourself. There is no way that you can save anybody. It's the Holy Spirit that does the work. All right, so as we're planting seeds, we pray that they fall into good soil, right? We know that scripture as well. If you're reading the word, and if it doesn't fall there, the blood's not on our hands. Now, my biggest concern, and I know a few of you know because I've talked to you about it, is oh, I just don't want any blood on my hand. And, and I can't force anybody to do this. Not to be under the law, right? We are free. Jesus made us free. He set us free, okay? Uh, from the penalty of sin, well, we're living in a fallen world, okay? There's nothing we can do to change this, but by God, right? He's going to change all this, and we will have a new whole thing down here. 
and Jesus will be in charge. King Jesus alone. It's going to be amazing. So after this happens, I just want you to know, first of all, I, I feel this false sense over there. Uh, I don't feel that um, of security. I, don't, I, I know that, that Benjamin Netanyahu is not for this. I know he was pressured into this. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, after midnight tonight that the other group that we've been talking about is not going to stop, even though they're going to be releasing people back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, the way that they're doing it, it's like, it's just so crazy, first of all. Um, and it's like, you know, either give it your all or give it none. If you really want that peace, then you're going to have to go through it. But they're raised to kill people. I mean, as children. It was a beautiful video I made this, that I, I listened to this morning, edit. Um, I talked about a Pakistani man who said that he was brought up. His father was the head of Hamas. And he was brought up in this. And then when he got older, he realized that, whoa, this is just so wrong. And he's out there speaking now. He was at the UN meeting on Monday. I said that, you know, huh, this is not right. This is what they were raised to do. They have no heart. They have no conscience. And they believe that this is how they're going to be rewarded. And we know how we will get rewarded. First of all, those of us who are watching and waiting will get a crown to lay at his feet. And then, of course, your rewards can be taken away according to whether or not you have totally believed on Jesus. Now, if you're saved by grace through faith, you're not going to lose your salvation. You just might lose a few rewards. And I've talked many times about the fact where I don't want to lose anything. I want to be all in all for Jesus. I, I, I want to be his go-to girl. I want him to say, Debbie, come here. I want I find you to go do this, right? We're soldiers in the army of God. We battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Right? That's it. Nothing else. God's got this. God himself, as in Psalms 83, Asap said that God himself will have to show and protect the people of Israel, of course, but show the people that are surrounding Israel the fact that God himself won this war for them. And if you don't think that there's a war going on over there, oh, there definitely is a war going on over there. Like I've never seen before. It's been heartbreaking. So heartbreak upon heartbreak, the wearing down of the saints, right? Um, if your heart is broken, you know, her, here we are with animals that are passing on us and troubles that are like, unexplainable sometimes and then of course are hitting us at just the wrong time well, therefore we say Satan you get ye behind me <laughs> you're not in control God is you get out of here you're under my feet because we have the victory over the enemy in Jesus at the cross it was finished once and for all all you know, those terrorist groups, they need Jesus too, All right? It's not likely that they're going to find him right now, but I'll bet, and I know, I've also read in the Word that when the rapture happens, Israel is going to know uh, exactly what happened. And we know that that first three and a half years is when God, just like he did in the Garden of Eden, right, when Adam and Eve sinned against God. What did he do? He slaughtered an innocent animal and covered them in their skin. Why? So he could have a relationship with them still. And so we know that the first three and a half years is a time when the Jews will be able to uh, sacrifice and do what they believe that they need to do in order 
to honor God. And, and that way, God will be able to speak to them and talk to them and show them. And many will get saved during that three and a half years. And those that are, those are the martyrs that will be under the altar, right? Called the white linen. So we know that the 144, that two angels, and first time ever, as in Revelation 14, 6, that angels will be preaching. And you'll be here. They'll be here to take people to safe places, to, to preach the gospel to all. And all the seeds that we have planted, I pray that all of them have fallen in good soil. It's not on our hands. The blood's not on our hands if we are at least warning them. That's our job. Love warns. Absolutely. It's hard. I know. We've lost our families. My goodness, there, there's been so much separation. But that was the, the goal, right? If you can divide and conquer, then, well, that's what they do in war. They try to divide and conquer. It's easier to get to the people that way, right? And emotions and everything else that's happening. So I don't know if I said all this right, but I do know one thing for sure. Coffee, I shower, get to work on that bird. There's a beautiful moon out there tonight. I'll put a post up that I didn't put last night from last night's moon. Moon, it, it, It's just so perfectly perfect. I think I fell asleep before I could put it up, but it's amazing. The signs are in the sun and the moon and the stars, and they have been dancing amazingly. God is about to do, <laughs> wow. He's about to do something big. He's about to do something huge because he loves us. He will not lose one. He will go after the one, right, and leave the 99. He takes more pleasure in that than anything else. He won't lose one that is. And those of us who are praying for our loved ones, friends, and everything else, leave it at God's feet, okay? Leave it at the feet of Jesus. He will take care of them. He knows your heart and he will honor you and your heart if you've been praying for them and if you've been serving him and loving him and believing on him and most of all, trusting him. All right? Faith. Faith pleases God and faith is what he's looking for when he returns. We are all saved by grace. You faith is a free gift. Not of our souls or our works, least any man boast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Faith is all about faith and it's all about Jesus. It's not about us. Let go. Let go of this world. This is not our home. We're just passing through. But we know what time it is, as in First Thessalonians 5 3, right? We are in that season. So at any moment, that trumpet could sound. And we could all be called up hither in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Keep looking up, everybody. And keep watching. Expect something, any moment. But whatever happens, don't have any fear. And know that Jesus is near. Because he's coming. He promised. I believe him. And that settles it. I say this is Debbie from Texas. Oh, like and subscribe and share this video. It is important that people know that something is about to happen. And it's out of their control. But what they need to do is they need to know Jesus now. Praise be to God. All glory to our King, our soon coming King. That is 2.13, for God so loved the world as well as in John 3.16, that he sent his only beloved son, that whoever would believeth on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Eternity is a very, very long time. If you're not saved, hmm, make today your day of salvation. We may not have tomorrow. We not may not have till midnight. I know I'll be up stuffing a turkey, <laughs> but hey, 
It's time, everybody. It's time. Peace out again from Texas. This is Debbie. Maranatha. Keep looking up because our king is coming.